Halloween is not the simple festival most people think it is. It is not about collecting candy going trick-or-treating. Halloween is a demonic festival of worshiping Baal the Beast, the Beast of Revelation, the same beast that Muslims think is their God, Allah, the same beast that the Druids worshipped at Stonehenge. This is the same beast spirit that Wiccans pray to. At Stonehenge in the British Isles for over 2,000 years, the Druids had two main festivals. One was May 1st and the other was October 31st. The May 1st festival was Beltane, the fire of Bel. The October 31st festival was Samhain, the dead spirits festival of Baal. The Halloween Samhain ritual allows people to connect to their dead ancestors and to the demonic world. The Bible tells us many times to never do this and come under the influence of Baal and his demons. When someone tells you to consult mediums and spiritists who whisper and mutter, should not a people inquire of their God? Why consult the dead on behalf of the living? Isaiah 8, 19 Distressed and hungry, they will roam through the land. When they are famished, they will become enraged, and looking upward will curse their king and their god. Then they will look toward the earth and see only distress and darkness and fearful gloom, and they will be thrust into utter darkness. Isaiah 8, 21 through 22. How do we know that all these different groups, including the Druids, worshipped Baal? There is a striking resemblance between the demonic spirit the Druids worshipped and the true God. The Jewish name for the supreme being, Jehovah, means the eternal or I am Jesus Christ described himself in John chapter 8 as I am among the Druids Bel was the name given to the supreme meaning he that is it also means I am all that has been is or shall be the demonic equivalent of I am we know that Wiccans, Druids, and Muslims all worship the same spirit that wants to be God but is not, Baal, because Baal has the same universal symbol, the crescent moon. The crescent moon symbol of Baal goes all the way back to the ancient Canaanites and their worship of a false god. The beast in Mecca falsely claims Jesus is only a messenger of Allah. Quran 17:111, And say, Praise be to Allah, who hath not taken unto himself a son, and who has no partner in the sovereignty, nor hath he any protecting friend through dependence, and magnify him with all magnificence. This verse in the Quran is directly contradicted by Jesus in the Bible. Jesus said, For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. John 6:40. The beast Baal, who was confined to the abyss, reemerged from the abyss and appeared to Muhammad, calling himself the angel Gabriel. Baal gave Muhammad the lies about Jesus. Nearly 600 years before the man of lawlessness, which is Baal, appeared to Muhammad, Jesus told us a false revelation text would appear. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of this scroll, if anyone adds anything to them, 
God will add to that person the plagues described in this scroll. And if anyone takes words away from this scroll of prophecy, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city which are described in this scroll. Listen carefully to the warning from Jesus about praying and worshiping Baal. This applies to all Muslims, Druids, and Wiccans. And the smoke of their torment will rise forever and ever. There will be no rest day or night for those who worship the beast and its image or for anyone who receives the mark of its name. Revelation 14, 11. Listen to the words of Jesus. Jesus is light and truth and the only path to salvation. Every other path will fail. Thank you.